For cheap Minecraft hosting, be sure to go ahead and check out Clovex.net. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to split your screen in 4 sections in Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, or 13. Now just before I get into this video, I'd like to say this is a requested tutorial as you'll see on the screen right now. How do you get this on Sony Vegas 11, 12 or 13? And as you can see he's displayed a picture of what he wants. It's actually very simple to do. I replied to him it's simple. So with that being said, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. Okay, so we're going to work with one video to start off with. So I'm just going to drag one video in, and it's this wildlife sample video as always. And what we're going to do is come to this right here, the track motion. But before we do that, come up to your project's video properties, and this part, select if you're rendering in 720p or 1080. So 1080 is all down here. If you're picking 1080, pick 1080. However, I'm doing 1280 by 720 like always. Click it, apply, and OK. That's definitely important, so make sure you do that. So now we've done that, it's time to go to the track motion. This part, again, is very important. We're going to be changing the width and height, but we're actually going to use the calculator for this. So if you are 1920 by 1080, yours calculation is going to be completely different to mine, but you're going to be doing the exact same method. So because it says 1280, we're going to type in 1280. And we're simply going to go ahead and divide it by 2. And that is what we get, 640. That means where it says width, we're going to put in 640. And you can see automatically it's going to connect this one right here, the height, to 360 because that is half of 720. Now if it doesn't do the bottom one automatically, just simply divide the second one which is 720 or 1080 for those that are rendering in 1080p. Simply half it and then type it in the height. Now as you can see it's centered and of course we want it in the corner. So the way we're going to do this, make sure enable snapping is unchecked and we're going to simply drag it up to the corner. Now we can use the arrow keys here just to line it up good so as you can see like so. Boom. That is the first video in position and what you can do is come where it says preset and we can call this top left and we're going to press save. That way you can come here and then you won't have to remember these settings, you won't have to reposition it, it's always going to be there. So you can now X out of that, that video is in position, it's time for another video. So I'm literally just dragging whatever I have on my computer, so this is the next video. Make sure it's dragged on top like so, and you can see it's going to cover up the full screen. Now again, track motion, and what is it? It is 640 because that is half of 1280. We're going to do that, and you can see positioned again. Snapping enabled is unchecked and we're going to position this in the top right so just drag it up and then we'll use the arrow keys to finish it off like so. There we go and we're going to call this one top right. Then we're going to go ahead and press save and you can see now we got top left and top right. So time to add the third video again on top of it and we're going to position it again. Track motion 640 enter and this is going to be the bottom right one so I'm just going to go drag it down and then I'm going to use the arrow keys to clean it up like that and I'm going to come here and we're going to call this bottom right save boom three of them right there and run to the final one the bottom left so the final video I'm going to drag and drop on top again and you can see this is when I revealed the winner of the VR headset so drag drop and we're going to come to the track motion again, 640 on the width, it's now in position, final thing we got to do, just simply line it up into place, very simple, and there we go, as you can see it's all positioned, we can now play this, and as you can see they're all playing at the same time in their own sections, that is how simple it is to do, you just split it into four different screens, and yeah, it looks pretty nice once it's done. And that is it, simple tutorial, and it can be a little bit time consuming at first, but once you've got all the settings, save the presets, when you come back to doing it again, it's gonna be very simple, just simply press the presets, and you've got everything loaded up. 
Like I said at the start of the video, if you would like to request a tutorial on Sony Vegas Pro 11, 12, 13, Photoshop, After Effects, or even Cinema 4D, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. With that being said, be sure to go follow me on Twitter, I'll keep you updated what I'm posting and what we're posting. Also be sure to go and check out my technology news channel, I'll keep you updated on the latest technology news. And finally be sure to go and add me on Snapchat, we'll be sure to do throughout my day. So it's been Captain Sanchez, thank you so much for watching, please subscribe, wait, and peace.